Alright, we're on Simulacrum. Um, uh, yeah, and it's uh, Fallen Legion, Protoss against Tan. Protoss, PvP. Uh, let's go. So PvP can be pretty unforgiving. Um, but it does depend quite a lot on the types of builds that the two players crack out. Tan going for the low ground wall off. Uh, Fallen Legion with the worker idle holding minerals, I hate it. Um, going for the top of the ramp wall off, and that's all right. So Tan's gonna come in, have a quick poke about. Um, it's a pretty early scout. So presumably just checking that it isn't gonna be some sort of proxy, which is fine. Um, normally uh, a good time to scout is, you know, you, you drop your side core. Um, so this finishes up, you send this worker down, and you drop the side court and then you send the worker across the map uh, and the reason for that is that worker will arrive as your opponent's side court finishes up um, so they can't have a stalker yet um, they can only have a zealot and it's hard for the zealot to stop the worker getting in they can't have an adept or anything so your worker probably won't die you can mineral walk it past the zealot to get it into your opponent's base and have a look around and since their side core will have finished that is when they'll be dropping their tech so that's when they'll be building whatever it is that they're likely to build um, and you can see you know once the side course finished are they dropping a stargate are they dropping double forge? double forge if i see this if i come in and scout and i see double forge i'm thinking what the <laughs> three minute double forge <laughs> what even is that no one knows um Okay, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, you see, is there a Stargate? Is there a Robo? Is there a Twilight? That's what you're checking for, because those are the option. Those are the tech options for Protoss aren't they? Uh, it's going to be one of those three things, depending on what you're going for. Um, so if it's a Twilight, you know that could be a Blink build. It could be a Glaives build. Could even be a DT build. Uh, and what you would check for is the robo coming down shortly afterwards to drop the DTs. If you don't see the robo quickly afterwards, um, after the twilight goes down, then yeah, it probably isn't. It's probably going to be a stalker build or something like that. Um, so twilight console is up. Um, the natural, no workers in production here for Legion at present, which is weird, right? Um, because we're only five minutes in. So I, I don't really know why there's no workers being built by either player. Okay, Tan finally gets, uh, remembers that that's what you do. Um, and the fact that he's remembered that all the sooner is probably indicative of the fact that Legion hasn't been building workers for a long time. This is only on five workers. How are you gonna win a game if you stop building workers like at not even five minutes? Uh, you're not. Uh, so 17 workers behind now. That's an entire mineral line behind. An entire mineral line. Uh, you know that that's there is the difference um so assuming that both and look both players are keeping their minerals reasonably low um but tan is mining a third more than you so his army is going to be a third bigger at least isn't it that's like, <laughs> uh yeah with money being invested into these upgrades um not that many units yet and you're not going to be able to afford many units if you don't build some dam workers. So the third coming in, um, but the third for Tan is up and mining and saturated, you know? So, yeah, currently double the army supply. Um, and yeah, sure, with the double forge, you've got an upgrade lead, but like the upgrade lead does not make up for double the army supply. It just had to be a hell of an upgrade. Uh, wouldn't it? That would be a very, very impressive thing indeed. So uh, this looks like it's going to be a pure stalker build. There's Blink finishing up. Um, yeah, with the very early double forge, uh, it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. I was going to say, if you've gone for a forge that early and you're going for an upgrade, you know, you need to get busy with the units as soon as 1-1 one, one finishes because your opponent can't possibly have 1-1, one, one, right? double forge um but you do you know that's that's what you're relying on so two two is in fact done uh this is three three on the way um so that is a serious upgrade lead um 
you know, if this finishes before 1-1 one, one finishes for Tan, 3-3 three, three against 0-0, zero, zero, that makes up for a lot. But my goodness, that is a big army. And charge is done. So the Blink Micro would have to be immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. Oh my God, so many Archons. No, this won't be a fight. It simply won't be a fight. Even with a even 3-3 three, three against 0-0, zero, zero, that won't be a fight. Not with Archons and such. So... This is now saturated, the gases are not. Um, and it does look like this is just going to be a build 200 supply army of stalkers. Tan isn't going to let you get there because he is about to hit 200 supply. If you're doing a, a you know maxed out stalker push, it needs to be at about 10 minutes um, to be effective. This is less than maxed out, and here we are at the 10 minute mark. So one more round of stalkers coming in. He's going to push down here and have a go at this. He does have blink. So if oh a forward blink though on top of Archons. Oh not for the oh and the stalkers aren't even shooting. They're dancing about. What's he doing? Oh my god, this is horrific to watch. Finally the stalkers start to shoot. Um, this is a classic example of those stalkers would have done much better with no micro whatsoever. The way to use blink guys is not to forward blink into an army don't do that not when you're right number not no i mean generally don't do that at all forward blinking you know you only do that when you're absolutely sure you win the fight you do it to catch workers you do it to you don't forward blink into an army with a bunch of archons stalkers outrange archons you know what i mean i'm pretty sure archons have a pretty short range but they do splash you blink on top of them you're in the middle of the archons you get decimated decimated horrific but look the bigger issue here was i don't know what he'd done he'd right click the stalkers onto something so these these stalkers are targeting one particular unit or something like that i don't really know but look so they kill that unit and now look at all these stalkers look at them they're just wandering about they're not shooting at all it's horrific it's absolutely horrific tan has lost two units one of which is a worker from the early game i mean oh that was that's made me feel uncomfortable gg